the Turks and Caicos Islands has committed to revitalizing its financial services sector. It's been one year since the island's updated national investment policy was approved, outlining key development priorities to maintain a dynamic, growing economy. James Bursey is CEO of Invest Turks and Caicos, and David Stewart is the president of the Finance Industry Association. David, what opportunities are there for financial services investors on the islands? Turks and Caicos is a five-star jurisdiction, an Amman resort. We have a substantial population of ultra-high net worth visitors and residents. So there is a lot of opportunity in relation to trusts, fiduciary, asset management, international wealth management and financial services for individuals. We also have a strong reputation for our mid-market captive insurance industry, which mostly faces the US market. And I would say we've got an experienced regulatory environment, accounting, banking environment that's used to working with captive insurers. So that is another major opportunity, but more broadly, we're a wonderful place to live and work, and we want to attract a broad church of financial services businesses to consider the Turks and Caicos as the place to locate for their next opening. The third pillar of the financial service industry, of course, is banking. We have three Canadian banks already there, and we're discussing with European, United States, and Asian banks. And I hope by the next 12, end of the next 12 months, we're going to have three more resident on the island. So it's a great place from which to locate a bank. What are the benefits of establishing a business on the Turks and Caicos? First and foremost, it's a beautiful place to be. I get up with the sun, I can go for a walk on the beach, try doing that in London or New York. So if that's the kind of lifestyle you want, that's a start. Second thing is, of course, we're very closely located and very easily accessible to the whole of North America. But most importantly, it is a great place to work. We have an environment where people know each other, but we also have a lot of people who pass through on vacation or to monitor their investments which is an opportunity to meet people that you often in larger financial centers don't get. And I think it's a wonderful place to live if you're internationally mobile, which lots of families are. You can be in New York in two hours and 50 minutes daily, in Florida eight times a day. Quality of life is very good. Schools, shops, restaurants, the beaches, commuting time never more than 20 minutes, no matter where you are, and there's no traffic jams. All of these things are tremendously attractive if, like me, you've lived and worked in big cities uh, for most of your career. Sounds idyllic. What's the path to incorporation for businesses? It's actually very simple. Primarily, you could do it yourself, but I would frankly recommend get a local lawyer whom you like and let them do the paperwork. It's about $2,000 to $2,500, depending on who you work with. Incorporation is straightforward and simple, and you get your paperwork in less than two weeks. Not quite as fast as you are online, but sit back and enjoy the beach and, or just start building your next business. But we are in the midst of digitizing our company registry. So within a year, we will have online incorporation, online uh, certificates of incumbency and all of the other corporate paperwork. And I think that the other uh, uh, opportunity, particularly in preferred sectors like financial services, is that there are uh, concessions and development incentives which are available on a case-by-case -case basis, which offer a significant value uh, to investors in terms of uh, guaranteed immigration, guaranteed concessions on uh, expenditure, and other concessions which would, people would find valuable. How else does Invest Turks and Caicos work with investors to match them up with opportunities on the islands? Well, for instance, I'll be, I'll be very specific. A uh, case we have right now, we had a developer who came in, wanted to get into the islands, hadn't been there before, and had a project that we liked a lot and they were short of total capital. So our organization, we went with them uh, off island to primarily North America. We arranged for the subsequent capitalization that they required, and now they're able to proceed. We're now at the point where we'll be writing that development agreement, and they will be able to proceed fully funded. So that's the kind of help that our organization gives. Conversely, we do a matchmaking service where we keep a list of organizations or individuals who want to invest in projects but don't have the time to go and suss them out themselves. So we do that matchmaking service. So again, financial assistance, matchmaking, working through government regulation, that's what we do. Finally, David, you seem to have incredible ambitions for financial services on the islands. Where do you want to see the industry in the next five, 10 years? So right now, the Turks and Caicos is a minnow. It's a tiny, tiny market. I would like to see the Turks and Caicos grow in a sensible, proportionate way, focusing on its key distinguishing factors, which are ultra-high net worth families, multifamily offices, trustees and fiduciaries on the one hand, and captive insurance on the other. It doesn't mean I'm not going to be hugely encouraging of fund management or any other clean, 
compliant, transparent international financial services business. The international financial services environment at the moment is a very challenged, very interesting one, uh, but I believe that uh, tax-neutral jurisdictions, the aggregation of capital for international investment, is something that in a proper, compliant and transparent way, properly regulated, is going to go from strength to strength, and I believe that the Turks and Caicos has a real role to play in that industry, and I look forward to seeing it grow. We'll look forward to that as well. James, David, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Learn more at investturksandcaicos.tc and please subscribe for the latest international business insights from worldfinance.com.